Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to create this glamorous evening makeup look. Yes, that's right. I'll be using these wonderful products that I received from Il Makeage New York. It's a very high-end makeup brand and they sent me the full range of their products, almost all of them. I forgot to order a blush, I think. Il Makeage New York doesn't apologize for being a more high-end makeup. They claim their products are for makeup lovers who don't mind spending a little bit more. So let me take off this makeup and I'll show you their products. Okay, now I'm up close and personal and I'm going to go ahead and use this foundation. It is called the Woke Up This Morning Foundation and we'll see how it goes. I hope I chose the right color. I think that's going to be a pretty good color. Got a little bit too much there. I always go a little bit down on the neck just to make the foundation blend. Now I'm going to blend this in using my Real Technique stippling brush sprayed with about seven sprays of this Urban Decay All Nighter. I've actually already gotten the brush wet. Here I don't need to respray again. And I really do need to clean this brush. It's been about a week. I'm using it. And when that happens, the uh, bristles don't really lay the foundation down as well as they could. I'm in the middle of a house remodeling project on my first floor. All of my wood trim and my cabinets and my kitchen, everything went from dark wood to white and it was supposed to take three weeks for the whole project and it's been over a month already and so i am sort of uh, going crazy with it it's a little intense some of it is already done the kitchen is done it's really nice i like it they're working on the bedroom and the master bath now and if you're not a subscriber and would love to see my major home redecorating project, please click that little bell and that will notify you of that on my future videos. Mostly I do anti-aging videos. However, you get little bits of my life too and everything I'm interested in, gardening, houses, little health tips, things like that. Love to have you subscribe. Okay, now I need to just go over this with my fingers. Mm, this is a very pretty foundation. I like this. I am very surprised, especially for having just picked, you know, one of their many colors. I think that is a very, very pretty natural looking foundation. I always like to be a little bit lighter. I think it gives a little glow to the skin. Very pretty. Now I did order their concealer and it came in this beautiful little box, but it was empty. So I'm not going to be using their concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape, which I love. I've used it for the whole year and a half. I've been on YouTube and I have probably 30 other concealers. And I always go back to this one. However, I do have one Maybelline, the Fit Me Concealer, that I do like for a not as expensive option. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I don't know why I'm using my fingers and not my foundation brush. In fact, let's go ahead and use my little Sigma foundation brush. I think that really spreads it much more nicely. Okay, there we have some concealer. Now I'm going to take a little Derma Blend and go into the corners of my eyes and a little bit on that Mohs incision there. It's been about a year since I had that surgery, maybe about 10 months. They say it's a year and a half till everything's totally healed. It is getting much, much better, but I still use a little bit of Derma Blend on it to kind of blend it in. Love this Derma Blend concealer, it's wonderful. Now let's go ahead and use a little bit of their Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad eyeshadow. And this is one of the quads and they have many different quads. I thought that was just lovely. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this light color up on the brow and that is a little bit shimmery for the brow highlight then I'm going to go ahead and apply that same color it's kind of pinkish color on the eyelid I would say the inner three-fourths of the eyelid and it's very highly pigmented it's going on beautifully next I'm going to go into the crease using this light brown color and really I do wish that this were not a totally shimmer palette I like a little bit of shimmer on the lid, but I really do prefer matte in the crease. And so I would probably order one of their more matte palette options. However, this is a good shadow, I would say, definitely. And it goes on rather nice and naturally, but this is a lot of shimmer for me though, really. I didn't realize how much it was. This is my e.l.f. blending brush, and I just think it's a really quick way to get the shadow in that outer V, just really simple and easy. There we go. Very pretty shadows and they go on beautifully. Next I'm going to use my Sigma smudge brush and I'm going to go into this darker brown color here. I'm very tempted to use that blacker color, the brown black, but we'll try this first. I do like a dramatic line under the lower lash. That's a pretty color. I like that. 
and that's not as dramatic a color as I feared it would be. Even though it's brown, it looks a little dark. And these shadows are going on very well. They're very highly pigmented, and they also are not flaking, which is wonderful. I'm not getting a lot of fallout at all, almost none. You know, I think I will go in and add a little bit of that darker color. I really use this dark color as an under eyeliner here. Take that up into the V a little bit. Up into the V on the other side. Now I'm going to be using their Il Maquillage, and I sure hope I'm not massacring their name. <laughs> their Il Maquillage, I think, their eyeliner, which is called the Long Wear Pencil. And this is in the brown shade. And let's see, I put it on a little bit earlier and it seemed very intense. Feels like a gel liner. I like that. I'll go ahead and do the other eye and my mascara off camera. Okay, I have my eyes on and I really like several of these eye products. The first thing I did not even realize that I had was this brow makeup product and it is in their blondish color. I chose the lightest one here and I did not even realize that I had ordered this, but before the break you could see that I had little grays in my eyebrows that I was having problems covering and this covered them absolutely beautifully. I love this little product. And I really like their eye pencil. In fact, this is right up there with my favorite eye pencil, which is the Julep eye pencil. It is a little darker blackish brown, which I like that a little bit. It just goes on smoothly. It is absolutely beautiful. It almost has the look of a liquid liner, but in a pencil. Love this product. And I also really like their mascara. I got it in the black, and as you can see, it really lengthens your lashes and it thickens them up. I really enjoyed this. This is again right up there with my favorite, which is the Stila Extreme Lash, I think it's called, and I will be using this, and I have probably 40 mascaras, so even though this tied with my favorite mascara, I think that means it's pretty good. Now, I failed to order a blush from them, so I'm going to go ahead and use my current favorite, which is the Chanel Zhu Contrast, and it's in the color Elegance, or Elegance. <laughs> As we say in Kansas, there's no elegance here in Kansas. Just going to put that on there. I think that's a great color. Now, one of the products that I was most excited to order from them is the sculpting brush. And look at that. That is a wonderful brush that is angled and yet has a little bit of a divot in it, which would totally, in my opinion, go right in that area and give you a well-defined cheek and jawbone with contour. I'm going to go ahead and use the Smashbox contour. Whoa. That really makes a pretty cheekbone. Now I like the look that that gives. You might want to go over it with a fluffy brush, but I do think that really defines the cheekbone area. I'll try it on the jawbone. There's the side I did it with, and I think it really does improve the jawline from this side to this side, which I have not done. Go ahead and get a little more contour there. Nice, love this brush. Now let's finish it off with some lipstick, and I actually ordered three of these matte lipsticks from them. They're liquid lipsticks, and they are very long-wearing. In fact, I put one on this morning and could hardly get it off to do this video. And of the three, I'm going to be using the least intense, and they probably have 20, 25 different colors. Look at that color, very, very intense. And this is their Matte Master Lip Cream in the color 417. It's very intense, but I think it's very pretty. Well, that's a look at pretty much a full face of the Il Maquillage makeup, and I was very impressed. It is a high-end makeup, but it's no more expensive than the high ends that you find at Ulta, and I really think it created a beautiful look. And I'll put links to all the makeup I used in the description box below. But the standouts for me are the foundation, love that. 
absolutely love this little brow product. I will be ordering this again. I really like this eyeliner pencil and the lipstick is really nice. And I'll put information below on the lipstick on if it wears well and if it continues to feel comfortable on the lips because right now it feels very good. And thank you Octoli for sending me that complete line of the Il Maquillage Makeup. It's wonderful. And also for sending me this Kenra Perfect Medium Hairspray. And I asked them to send this to me because this is my bottle of their Super Hold Finishing Spray. And as you can tell, it's about out. So I decided to order the Medium Spray because I could get it for free and I absolutely love these products and I feel very confident sharing them with you. These Kenra hairsprays are absolutely the best products I have ever used in terms of a hairspray and this one is absolutely wonderful and it does produce really nice super hold for you and this medium spray I'm finding is just as wonderful. It is not quite as helmet feeling so you can brush through it a little more especially at the ends of your hair but it gives me pretty much the same degree of hold as their super hold hairspray. It's just a little more natural feeling. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half, I am 60 years old and still going strong. And I've really been looking at YouTube videos from Jane Fonda and I realize she is 80. So ladies, we don't have to give it up. We can improve ourselves and have goals and have objectives and really make our second half our best half. But please click that little bell if you'd like to receive notifications by email of all my future videos. Okay. I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I'm drawing a card from these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. I've taken out the duplicates, so hopefully we can get a good Power Thought to think about today. Ooh, I love this. All my relations are harmonious. When we create harmony in our own minds and hearts, we will find it in our own lives. The inner creates the outer always. Oh, ladies, I absolutely love this. And I have found usually that when I have a difficulty with someone else, when I really search my own heart, I realize that things are not very peaceful inside and that I am unsettled and angry for some reason. And I'm projecting that anger out on them. And I really find that when I take a moment to sit back and meditate on things, to think about things, that it is true that when we create harmony in our own minds and hearts, everything else just settles out nicely and our relationships get better and better. And when we start to have a difficult relationship with someone else in our lives, let's remember that the inner creates the outer and let's try to get peace, happiness, and contentment inside so it can reflect on everyone around us. Take care. See you next time.